Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter, Hakeem Olajuwon, the level 40 reward for season 5 of NBA, sorry, season 6 of NBA 2K23, my team. First and foremost, massive shout out to my boy Mini Coach for letting me out on his account to record this video. This man is an insane grinder. Somehow already got Hakeem, which is just crazy to me. I mean, massive, massive shout out to him for that. Really do appreciate him letting me use his account for this video, in addition to all the other videos he's let me record this year. Also, if you haven't already, make sure hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 11,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day and i would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it and see what hakeem is looking like so seven foot center 99 offense 99 defense with a 90 driving layup uh 96 midi 93 ball 90 driving duck 95 standing duck uh 86 ball handle 97 block 98 interior 97 rebounding 90 speed and excel 91 lateral quickness uh 38 hoffs 38 hoffs does he have 38 base hoffs i'm not even entirely sure he might have added some hoffs to Hakeem, but he might have not have i don't know he might have that many base offs. I'm not really sure, but back down Punisher, Bully, Dream Shake, Drop Step, and Limitless Takeoff, Master, Post Spin, Post Riser, Rise Up, Agent 3. I feel like he might have added a couple, but Ant, Blinders, Catch and Shoot, Claymore, Corner Special, Screen Machine, Guard Up, Limitless Range, Volume Shooter, Clamp Breaker, Dimer, Needle Threader, Post Playmaker, Quick First Step, Unpluckable, Anchor Challenger, Chase Down Artist, Clamps, Glove, Interceptor, Menace, Post Lockdown, Pogo Stick, Workhorse, Box Zombie, Street Bound, Chaser, and Brick Wall. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of badges. Also, 18 golds. You got badges like Fast Twitch and Slithery, Deadeye, Bailout, Break Starter, Vice Grip, Ankle Braces, Pick Dodger. He can get every badge added um, i would add slippery off ball and handles for days outside of that i mean maybe ankle breaker space it really doesn't matter he's not really missing anything super crucial to be completely honest but i would add slippery off ball and handles for days of those badges that he doesn't already come with um in terms of his animations that's kind of the main thing with hakeem that's going to be interesting size up's good i don't know exactly what size up he has but it's definitely not a bad one by any means his escape i don't know what escape that is not a kimba escape or something i'm not totally sure he's got his own release it is on very quick which is nice but it's still not that great of a release even on very quick that's one thing that does disappoint me about this card kind of like what disappointed me about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and uh, Wilt Chamberlain like those two cards as well they already still have their own release same thing with Shaq like all those guys have their own release the thing about Hakeem's release though is I do think his release is a little bit better than those three guys' releases for one um, and also he's a better shooter than all three of those guys are which is another added plus for sure um in terms of movement, I don't think he quite gives you the point center ability that those dudes do give you at the point at the uh, power forward or center position. But he still is a very, very viable playmaker as well, and he's not just an offensive card, um, or sorry, not just a defensive card and a catch and shoot guy. He's got the normal fade. He's definitely got a lot going for him. I mean, we already just saw he's got quick drops off one. He's got the little bit behind the back. Like he's still going to be absolutely nasty. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. One of the best power forwards in my team. My question is, where does he rank compared to Shaq? Compared to well, not really Shaq. He's gonna be better than Shaq, but compared to Kareem, compared to Wilt, compared to a Dikemi Matumbo, Chris Dash Porzingis, the guys who are the top four or five power forwards in the game. I don't think he's going to be better than Taco. There's just no way. Taco's so big and so glitchy. It's only so much you can do, but outside of that, who is he better than and who is he not at the power forward position? So, let's hop into a game and see what Hakeem Abdul-Jabbar... Hakeem Abdul-Jabbar. Hakeem Olajuwon can do. All right, so Hakeem in this game, we're going up against Jordan Poole. Who else? Is that Rashard Lewis, Laurie Markinen, and Glenn? What is this team? Not a good squad at all. He's also running zone, which is weird. I don't like playing against zone in gameplays because it makes it a little hard, harder to focus on a specific card sometimes. But we do get ourselves a bucket on the first possession with Mr. Hakeem Olajuwon. I don't know why I called him Hakeem Abdul-Jabbar. I guess Hakeem and Kareem are similar names, but that was a, that was definitely a mistake in freestyle. But uh, let's push the ball to, to Hakeem, see what he can do in transition, pushing the ball already up the court. His six are a little weird. He doesn't have like a standard size up or a standard escape. I don't feel like, although I just, that's the thing, man. His release is not that good. It's not horrible. It did get slowed down there, so I can't really blame him, but he just doesn't have the great release that you'd like to see. But to be fair, we got ourselves a super fast quit. So let's hop into another game. Let's keep it going. All right, our opponent's second game. He's got Russ, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Robin, KG, and Giannis. I mean, honestly, just not that great of a team. I'll be completely honest. It's just, I don't know. None of these cards are like put any sort of strike any sort of fear in me at this point in the game it's like a season four season five type team and i just don't think he's going to really be able to compete no offense but we're gonna have to see what hakeem can do in this game he doesn't even help off the pop in the slightest but hakeem gets inside he's just gonna mash rodman i know rodman's a great defender but he's six seven hakeem's seven foot that's not a matchup that you're ever gonna win to be completely honest easy mash right there easy bucket that starts us off hot in this game 
Is this dude playing? Okay, he's playing good. I was. So, I don't really want an insta quit again. I don't want to have to play yet another game. Uh, but that's okay. Let's. We. I mean, honestly, giving up the dunk there, that don't even hurt me. I'm okay with giving up buckets to this dude because hopefully it means he stays in the game. Hit our pop, Hakeem. I could have. Oh, I'm just gonna shoot this. He jumped. Well, he flies by. We're gonna shoot it. And we're gonna grain it. Beautiful shot from Hakeem. Knocking down the three. Appreciate you jumping there and giving me just enough space to get that off in that nice little area right there. Good defense. Beautiful. Cut off the dribble drive. Nice. Recover out to the corner. Beautiful stuff watch the back door here nice pinch from the corner play the back door ah oh, so close that should have probably been a stop i don't think i needed to help there uh help down with walton there that late in the possession i could have just guarded the back door and i think i would have been just fine so that's honestly my fault but blowing right by here again see if we can get him to help down he's gonna help out the corner instead that's unfortunate honestly because that's not the player i was trying to help with or trying to get him to help with i wanted to help with the honest so i could hit hakeem for another jumper but it's not gonna happen and that is okay hakeem's looking solid so far i mean i, I think i I just think the thing about this this card is like as Russell as we just dunks all over my family. Goodness gracious. Uh um, can you stop sweating me? Really? Come on, man. There's no there's no need for all that. Trying to steal inbounds passes and stuff. But the thing about this card is like you just he doesn't give me anything I feel like that you're not going to get out of a maybe a slightly better shooter than guys like uh, Kareem and Wilt. I mean, he is a slightly better shooter than those guys, but I think those guys have slightly be have better player builds than Hakeem for one, which is going to mean they're going to play a little bit better on the defensive end of the court. That should have been a steal. That's pretty bad, honestly, to be completely honest. Closing out there, and he's going to gain a 6%. That is tough, but... As I was saying, I just don't think this card really gives me anything special that those guys just don't give me, uh, outside of maybe being a slightly better shooter. So if you have those types of cards, I don't know if he's better than them. Uh, he is free. That is the one thing you can't say about him at the power forward position that isn't true of Kareem or Dikembe or Chris Stas Porzingis or Wilt Chamberlain or David Robinson or any of the top power forwards. Uh, and honestly, he's just as good or very close to at least just as good as all those guys with the exception of Taco. Great move right there. He feels fast in the ball in stance. I mean, he feels really, really fast. So that is definitely not something that you want to overlook either or uh, discredit him for because he definitely does feel very, very quick with the ball in his hands. Play the corner. Good bait here. Beautiful stuff. Stay in front. This is a good defensive possession. Oh my gosh, this game sucks. <sighs> this game sucks so bad for letting that go in. I... <laughs> What a terrible take. Not only does he get a foul call, but somehow that flukes into the basket. That was an awful offensive possession, and he got three points out of it. I do not understand this game sometimes. Sometimes you just get hoed, and that's a... Oh, okay, uh, just speaking of getting hoed, he gets a glove pluck with a CPU. We are getting absolutely hoed right now. We're down four, and this dude stinks. It's all right, though. No big deal. I don't think this game is over by any stretch of the imagination. He refuses to help out Fakim. Like, he's not even attempting. He's, not, he's pretending... Bro, Hakeem, you stepped out of... We are getting so hoed, it is not even funny right now. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, this game gets on my damn nerves. Those last two possessions, ridiculous three points that he just got. A st stupid glove steal that turns into a free dunk, and then Hakeem backdoors his way out of bounds. I... What am I watching? Literally, like I, I, I try not to complain too much of my videos, but that was like one of the worst three possession stretches that I've seen in a very, very long time in terms of the algorithm of this game. Gotta get inside again. Another take that should not be open, but Luke Walton decides he doesn't want to contest even though he's six inches taller than Russell Westbrook. We are down five points and this dude is completely garbage at the game. I don't want to be rude, but like, what am I seeing right now? Good backdoor for Hakeem. We'll take the dunk. Nine points in the game. We just got to win this game at this point, to be completely honest. Like, I, I cannot be losing this game. This dude is getting absolutely blessed. Like, horrifically blessed. We just, we can't have it happen. He just runs through me again. Good defense, Hakeem. Thank you. Just literally ran right through Luke Walton. But it doesn't matter. Hit our back door. Take your dunk. Easy dunk for Yao. Easy bucket cuts into a two-point game. I'm just going to take my transition bucket there. Also, Hakeem has rim take, which is the best takeover in the game, in my opinion, for a big man. So that is super nice to have. Um, I mean, this card's great. Like, in terms of free card, he's, he's an awesome free card. He's the best level 40 that we've gotten since. Bro, if you score here, I'm gonna... Board. Yo! Oh my... I'm just... I, I'm gonna try not to rage. I'm gonna try not to rage. I'm not gonna lie. That is about all I can do right now is try not to rage. Catch and shoot Akeem for three again. That should be green. That's a bucket. Beautiful stuff. Cuts it to a one-point game. This dude is getting so unbelievably blessed. It's not even funny. This is ridiculous. But like I will say, Hakeem is he is the best level 40 that we've gotten since season one with Scottie Pippen. And that, I don't think it's particularly close, which does make this a very good level 40. With that being said, it certainly could still have been better. If they had changed his release, he'd be absolutely incredible. And the fact that they didn't do that, I think does make him a 
little bit less valuable. At least in terms of who's a better card, I don't know if he's better than a Kareem or a Dikembe. I think it's close between him and Wilt. Uh, he's definitely not better than Taco. So that's definitely something that you're going to have to keep in mind with this card. But he's great. I mean, he's a very good card. In terms of a free level 40, this is the type of card that we want to see more of. A guy who can compete at the competitive level, at the highest level, and be one of the best cards at his position. And that's exactly what Hakeem is and will continue to be because of the size, because of the defense, because of the playmaking ability, because of the speed, and because of the fact that he is a very good shooter, despite his release not having been changed. But it is certainly still something that you have to keep in mind with him. Um, the release that I was hoping that you wouldn't have to keep in mind with him. And if they, if they had given him a faster release, you'd be looking at the second best power forward in the game behind Taco. Instead, he's not quite there that doesn't mean he's not a good card because he certainly is and i think this game's basically over as well so we can pretty much call it here but uh hakeem's a great card i just don't think he's he, is he worth the grind i don't know we'll talk about it here in a second let's hop back in the main menu let's review this hakeem olajuwon card all right, so in conclusion, Hakeem, great card. No doubt about that at all. Best level 40 we've gotten since Scotty Pippen. Is he worth the grind? If you need a power forward, he definitely is. He's not as good as Taco. He's not as good as Dikembe. I probably would take Kareem over him as well. That makes him the fourth or fifth best power forward in the game. KP probably better than him at the power forward position because of a slightly better release. Maybe it's close. I don't know. I think I'd take KP though because he's also seven foot three. So he's probably the fifth best power forward in the game right now. That's my opinion. With that being said, he's still a great card. And he's certainly the best free power forward in the game. And it's not even close. So is he worth the grind? It depends on the person. I probably won't grind him, but if you want to grind him and you want to get this Hakeem card, he's definitely an amazing option still in my team. So hopefully y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.